So you just sunk a ton of money in your e-commerce site and you think it's pretty awesome. And your visitor came to the site and they're at the final step of the checkout process, the holy grail, and they're just trying to enter in their credit card info and place an order. But wait, just before checkout, they see something like this. Um, okay, let's zoom in a little and take a closer look. What in the world is this? Uh, I'm sure you've all seen something like this before. It's a CAPTCHA. And it's just an acronym for a longer term that stands for a completely automated public touring test to tell computers and humans apart. Before we get started, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like more content from me all about Magento. Have you seen this yet when checking out from a website? Well, I haven't, but unfortunately you're gonna see a lot more of this before you see less of it because there are a lot of credit card carding attacks going on right now. A credit card carding attack is a real threat for online stores at the moment. Uh, it's some sort of bot or automated script that will run and try to check out from your website and actually place an order. Why would anyone do this, you think? Well, these are actually stolen credit cards. And before they attempt to really use it, they'll try to find a lower priced item in a checkout process on some sort of website and try to place an order to see if that credit card is actually valid, active, and working before they actually attempt to place an order for a higher priced item. So they'll take a list of stolen credit card numbers, set up automated bots or scripts and programs to try to target any number of websites and then track the results of the successful credit card attempts placed on those sites. So how does this negatively affect you as a merchant? Well, first when these orders actually get completed on your site, they'll appear to be successful and non-fraudulent in the first place, but they actually have been placed with a stolen credit card. Secondly, these fraud orders will inevitably be charged back from the consumer that owns that actual real credit card, costing you a ton of money in chargebacks in the long run. So to prevent this from actually really happening, it's becoming pretty common to place some sort of fraud prevention utility on your site somewhere during the checkout process. But let's take another look at this CAPTCHA at the checkout. This was enabled by a new feature in Magento 241, and it adds this block of code above the payment information at checkout. Now, can you really tell me the letters and numbers in this CAPTCHA? And if you can't, do you think your visitors who are willing to pay you money will try to figure this out when they're trying to place an order? While it's very important to prevent carding attacks on your site, it's equally as important to allow legitimate visitors to place their order on your site as painless as possible. This means you need to go out of your way to make that checkout process as frictionless as possible because each piece of friction along the checkout process will undoubtedly affect your checkout conversion rates. This feature is using an extremely archaic version of Magento's CAPTCHA implementation. And in my opinion, it's one of the worst things you could do to your Magento store because it will without a doubt kill your checkout conversion rates. Before continuing, do you wanna learn more about Magento programming? If you do, check out m.academy. I cover all the basics and core concepts and fundamentals of Magento 2 in video screencast lessons, and you can learn all about it to get up and running really quickly. The checkout funnel is one of these things you've probably spent years trying to perfect, and adding one of these unreadable CAPTCHAs during your checkout process will create an absolutely horrible experience for your customer. How would I react if I was trying to place an order and I saw one of these horrible CAPTCHAs at checkout? Well, I get frustrated anytime I see one of these older CAPTCHA implementations anyway, let alone when I'm tr actually trying to place an order on a site and give someone money. It honestly might make me never wanna shop at that merchant again, especially if it took me three or four tries to even get that CAPTCHA correct. I might even think the merchant doesn't care about me at all. Of course, not doing anything about carding attacks at this point in time probably isn't an option either. You wanna make sure you are constantly improving the process with features you add to the site. So you wanna make sure you're constantly improving the customer experience or improving your order workflow process. But adding one of these things during your checkout process is moving you in the wrong direction. So what are you to do here? Well, you have many options, but when dealing with a problem like this, the first thing I usually think of is WDAD. What does Amazon do? Sure, you may have hated their checkout process over the years. You've read stories about their usability issues and all sorts of other issues that have happened on Amazon's site. But guess what? Amazon converts 
and at an extremely high scale. If you haven't done so already, you should start looking at them in another light because they've already come across all of these issues and usually what they do becomes the golden standard for e-commerce best practices on the internet. When in doubt, do what Amazon does. I've never seen a checkout on Amazon's checkout process and neither have you. This is because they've probably already dealt with this carding issue many years ago and they built a service to handle this situation. And with almost anything else they've built over the years, if they built something for themselves, they've most likely turned it into an API for you to consume, and that's exactly what they did with the Amazon Fraud Detector API. This Amazon-based API uses machine learning and Amazon's previous experience with carding attacks and skimming attacks to detect fraud on your sites, and you can implement it right in the background without affecting the user experience at all. This is just one example though. Most credit card companies have fraud prevention utilities already built into their offerings. For example, PayPal has a fraud management utility built in that can even tie directly into Magento's order status when a fraud filter has detected an anomaly. Signified is another service offering that was built to combat fraud and it has full integration with Magento's order workflow and grid, and it can easily detect which orders are fraudulent and which ones aren't, and you can view all of that within the Magento ad administration. There are also a number of other fraud protection solutions available on the Magento marketplace and elsewhere, all with varying features and benefits that don't affect the customer experience at checkout. You can also use a service like Cloudflare to prevent denial of service attacks from hitting your site, which carding attacks look a lot like, and they can also rate limit requests from bots hitting your site, which carding attacks almost always use. And while using just one of these solutions probably isn't foolproof enough, you can use a combination of these services together to create a really ideal solution for dealing with these carding attacks. Going back to that original Magento CAPTCHA implementation, what's ironic about all this is that Magento has Google reCAPTCHA support built into their platform in the form of UI components and layout blocks, and it actually provides invisible CAPTCHA support. This implementation of CAPTCHA doesn't ask you to fill out any letters or numbers. It just shows a badge on the site telling visitors that CAPTCHA is enabled and it doesn't affect the user experience at all. My biggest question with all this was why wasn't this invisible CAPTCHA built into the checkout process rather than one of these archaic, traditional CAPTCHA messages. I guess we'll never know. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to get notified anytime I put out new Magento content. And as always, keep coding.